I started making chocolate for fun on the side with a friend of mine. And after about six months of doing it, I realized how much I enjoyed the process of taking a raw commodity, especially that grows in Hawaii, and turning it into a chocolate bar, which is so enjoyable for almost everybody. And that was really appealing. So I kind of kept doing that, I learned more and I learned more, and then I decided I'm going to start a factory because there really wasn't one in Hawaii, or on Oahu at least, there was some on, on the Big Island. And well now we're trying to develop more of an industry. So how long did it take you to learn the process? I'm still learning, but um, at this point a couple of years to know, to feel comfortable making really good chocolate. And how long did it take you like to rig up your grinder and figure that out? Or did you always, were you always mechanical? Well no, I, I wasn't mechanically inclined at all. I'm, I've had to become that out of necessity. Yeah, innovation to necessity, I guess, because we didn't have a lot of funding to start with, so we just really worked with whatever we could find. Whatever I, the winnower back there is plywood, it's PVC, it's buckets, and a shop vac. So you really can't get um, more affordable materials than that. And then the grain mill was just something that I saw at a farmer's place, and I thought, okay, you know, I could probably make this work to help refine it further. Because our grinders are small, they don't use a lot of electricity, and I don't have a lot of electricity up here. So they're one fifth of a horsepower, which means that it, they're not super strong, but they can go for hours and hours and hours. It's actually just like riding a bike, it's a tricycle, and um, just pedal, and then the real workout is the grinder right here. You can test it out if you uh -huh. want. You can see it's really hard to go uh -huh. all the way around. Uh -huh. And sometimes we have to stand on the stool or something because mm -hmm. we don't have enough leverage to pull it all the way around. Right. Yeah. I kind of like it. You know, it's a weird, it's a weird thing that, like, I never knew how chocolate was made before. So it's, it's a good experience. Uh, grinding it in the machine and. You're, you dump it out into the tempering machine, you get all the, the leftover chocolate in the bowl, and that's where you, you start going crazy with chocolate, and you lick all the stuff off, but of course you wash it and stuff, so. <laughs> but yeah, that's where you get a lot of chocolate in. So are you getting tired of chocolate? Uh, it's not something you can get really tired of, it's really good. Like the longer I do it, like I was saying before, the more potential I see in it, and what Sonoma County is now, I think Hawaii could be that for chocolate. The two, Hawaii and chocolate, they're just, they're both really sexy in a lot of ways, so they, um, the potential is incredible. It's only going to get better, which is incredible.